Jake from Gemsport. We got our first Neo, uh, Neo 4 on an EcoBoost here. Pretty excited for this. It's gonna be best bang for buck package you can get with the Neo 4. You don't need to you know, worry about buying a bunch of additional modules and all this stuff. And with our harness, it comes with everything you need. Flex fuel functionality is perfect. Having additional inputs and outputs, uh, there's plenty, plenty to choose from. Uh, onboard, closed loop Lambda control. Um, EcoBoost already equipped with a nice wideband sensor, so chances are you have one. Our harness has the connector right there, no additional modules. Going with the, the Link ECU, we can um, control a lot of motorsport features, things like anti-lag, cyclic idle, uh, proper rev limiter that you can actually control fuel ignition and a percentage between the two. You know, finally, the, the Neo 4 is by far the most affordable option. It's the best way to run an EcoBoost. Got everything wired in, everything checks out. We're gonna load it on the dyno and get things dialed in. done tuning my first Neo 4. This this ECU is great. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. There's there's no better way to spend that kind of money uh, on a wire in ECU than, than the Neo 4. Um, if, you, if you can spring a couple extra hundred bucks, I mean, way beyond what the, the old G4 stuff could do. Um, just the, the reaction time, uh, the logging rate is fantastic. And even just doing your job as a tuner on the dyno is that much easier. Um, I can't wait to use it, get some actual like track side time with it. Pulling ECU logs infinitely faster than anything ever was. Um, coming from uh, an OEM Ford ECU to the Neo 4, there are quite a few things that we couldn't accomplish. So a lot of the fun things are, you know, the rev limiters and um, all the fun, you know, pops and bangs or whatever, but also like fine control over that sort of thing. You know, the OEM ECU would say, oh, but this is, you know, we're done at this rev limit and cut all your power. And, uh, you know, it wasn't the most you know, easiest thing to drift or drive in, in general. And we can now get pretty, pretty accurate control um, and get it to do exactly what we want to do. Furthermore, you know, there was, we had a couple things come up during this tuning session that I wouldn't have caught. It would have just blown right by if it was just a OEM ECU. Uh, so we were able to detect um, some pre-ignition uh, on cylinder four pretty early in the game. Whereas, you know, the OEM ECU, maybe it would have missed it. Even if it did pick it up, it would have reacted to it in a way that we may not have been able to, um, you know, calm things down or make the proper corrections. and. OEM ECU logging software, you can't log everything that you need all at once. You know, with the link software, you can you can log every every single thing that the ECU is seeing, you can, you can log it. And maybe it's not incredibly apparent to you right then and there at the end of the run, but as you're going through the data, you're, you're gonna catch things that, um, you know, maybe you weren't necessarily looking for. Whereas like with the OEM ECU, you have to be looking for it. You have to be logging. Um, so that's probably one of the biggest benefits that coming from an OEM ECU to, uh, to a link ECU. It's more accurate control in general. Um, I think, you know, we were able to get really accurate fuel control um, and pick up a little bit of power. Uh, we were able to pick up um, like at least 30 foot pounds of torque, uh, which is a big one. Uh, even on the horsepower side, I think we made an extra 10 or 15 or something like that compared to the OEM ECU. Yeah, excellent piece.